Why do you not no. see rape and incest as areas for potential carve outs, even if you are pro life? First, I think both of those instances are horrifying. And fortunately, they're extremely rare. It happens. And any time it happens, it's horrifying, it's a tragedy. But I personally and honestly and deeply believe that all human life is worthy of protection, irrespective of the circumstances in which that human life was created. I personally believe that you do not correct one tragedy with a second tragedy. That's how I personally feel very strongly about it. I believe all human life, irrespective of the circumstances in which it came into being, is worthy of the protection of our laws. And I recognize this is a tough question. It's a very difficult question. And I, and, and, and I, and I understand that. Believe me, I do. But by the same token, if I have to weigh the two equities here, I'm always going to err on the side of life. And that's, that's how I, and I think that's a timeless principle. Uh, certainly our economy has evolved, but when it comes to issues like the value of every human life, I think that's it's, a timeless principle that it, was true before, it's true now, will be true in the future. It's interesting that you draw distinctions about the old and the new in certain regards, but in this one you say it's timeless because as you know, uh, cultural mores in this country, certainly the opinions of women are not in step with what you're saying right now. You're comfortable with that. But the value of life is timeless. The, no, 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 the value of life is timeless. The, the, the idea that a human life is worthy of the protection of our laws is not something that over time anybody should evolve on. I mean, you can, you can change your economic right. policies. But to the idea, the fact you're, your you're, you're, you're deciding. You can accept changes. The idea that human life is worthy of protection is a I know, is but you're deciding when it is human life. The world changes. Let me ask you something. You, uh, when well, you're no, looking at the future. Science has decided when it is human life. Science has not decided no, no, it's uh, at conception. Let me correct you. Science has, absolutely it has. Not at conception. Science has decided that when it, science has concluded, absolutely it has. What else can it be? What, what, it cannot turn into an animal. Well, you, it can't turn into a donkey. No, but you know the, that the, the law only, has perused this. The only thing this. that the that can become is a human being. The, uh, look, of course, I understand the logic, Every, but it's a it's little a too life. simple. It can't be it. anything else. Senator, it's, I understand that, but that's oversimplifying it, it a little it's bit. Straightforward. And the, this is not my argument. This is a presented argument of science. It having a DNA map, so does a plant. Uh, it's about when it becomes a human being. I'm not saying what I think in answer to that question. That's not my position. But don't you think, if you want to be a leader of the future, that's a question that deserves an answer that is definitive beyond your faith. When does life begin? None of you are calling for At any conception. type of panel for At consensus. Conception. That's your faith. That's your faith. That's not science. No, it's, it isn't. It is not That's definitive science. Scientists. Absolutely I will have scientists is. on this show all morning is. from all walks of life who will say, we cannot say it is definitely human life at conception. It so is what, more faith than it oh, is so science. What, what, well, they can't say it will be human life. What would it become then? You're talking it about the potential of it. it. It's when a... it is an actual human being. I'm not saying what my <laughs> position is on it. That I am also a Catholic. What I'm telling you well, is. I can tell you this. No, I can tell you this, that every single one of us started at that same stage, that it can't become anything other than a human but being. But it is about and that science. It, it's neither up to you nor I nor any politicians to decide that we're going to allow this life to move forward and this life not to. But uh, a human being, or it, its heart starts beating within, you know, very early on in that process. Yeah, but not right uh, away. By the time most people find not, out they're even pregnant, it is well developed. But not right away. And Chris, I'm not arguing. Do you want for... to really have a government and the decision of deciding what a human life no, is I don't. and what's not a human no, life? No, I that don't. That is a human life. It can't be anything no, no, else. No, I don't. And well, that's a radical position. But, that Senator, this is what I'm saying. You're over-talking the question, and that's, that's your right of tactics. But I'll tell you this, when it begins should not be a focus of faith or of suggestion. It should be of science, just like we did when one life ends. We used to have these same arguments 25, 30 years no. ago. You had scientists come together and talk about brain activity and the end of life, and it clarified a lot of positions. I'm saying, if you're going to be a leader of the future, this is something that deserves an answer that goes beyond faith. That's all I'm saying as a suggestion, not as an answer. To, I, and again, I'm not just as a suggestion you that to the I, answer of the question. Well, first of all, I'm happy that my faith. Let me tell you something. I'm happy that my faith influences my political position because my faith teaches me to care for the needy. My faith teaches me to respect and love even my enemies. My faith teaches me to forgive those who slight me. So people should hope that my faith influences my political position. And in this case, yes, I'm proud to say that my faith influences me.